is the sealed MTG finance market softening? Um, that's the question I had today. I've been watching. I know this shouldn't dictate everything, just a few watched items on eBay, but um, I'll give you a couple examples of uh, some things that kind of worry me. Uh, of course, the market's been pretty hot uh, for quite a while, so maybe it's a good sign. It's a normal, healthy thing that it's not a bubble, the fact that things are cooling off. But um, ignore these. I'm just going through my watch list. I'm going to show you some that recently ended uh, that eventually sold for a lot less than they usually do. For example, it's very difficult to find a box of the dark for under... Uh, I'd say like three grand, and this this one sold for two thousand one hundred twenty five dollars. It's pretty tough to find. Now, is it worth it? If you look at the underlying cards in a box of the dark, is it worth it? No, but uh, it's strange to see these selling for on eBay for you know under twenty eight twenty nine hundred dollars because usually they're listed for twenty nine ninety nine. Or two thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Um, this one went for two thousand one twenty five. Uh, it's just strange. That's all. Um, and you look down here. It's very rare to see an Urza Saga booster box sell for. I I, I got mine for over over three thousand. So it's very rare. And I thought that was a good deal. It's very rare to find one under three thousand. And here you go. You got one. Just ended this week. Um, and these are reputable sellers, so there's nothing fishy going on. Uh, this one went for $2,950. That is a good price. Uh, and Urza Saga is a very, just because it's such an overpowering set, it's very popular for that fact. Now, are you going to get your money back if you open these right away and try to sell, get cards graded and sell them? Of course not. That's not the point of uh, MTG Sealed Finance. The point is you buy and hold as an investment. Uh, this, I did see it's still up at Dave and Adams. Strangely, they don't have it uh, listed on eBay. You can go back and see I just recently made a video about this, uh, Portal Three Kingdoms. Uh, I'll show you here real quick. Boosters. They have some strange items down here. These lots of packs with different languages i don't know who would buy that but anyway here it's twelve thousand five hundred. you can see my other video if you want more details on that i'm surprised that hasn't gone yet um but it's strange that they took it down from ebay so back to ebay um this one isn't a stronghold thirteen hundred dollars thirteen fourteen hundred dollars this is below market value in my opinion. Usually alliances are tough to find for under nine nine hundred dollars. Um, I think you can get them for like nine fifty uh, or a thousand dollars all day. Usually listed on sites like Card Kingdom. Let's just go there real quick. Card Kingdom, Magic the Gathering sets, uh, alliances, sealed. There it is, thousand dollars. See how many they have in stock. You have to click on it. Available. So they have four of them for a thousand dollars. Let's go back. Back to eBay. Uh, unique product there, Tempest. I mean, it's kind of low because you think, okay, twelve, twelve of these decks, these sell for over, um, over a hundred dollars a starter deck. So, uh, you should be able to get $1,200 easy for this. And the fact that it ended up selling for only uh, $1,100, $1 $1,120, that seems strange to me. Go to, all these prices seem low, I guess is all I'm getting at. So, I don't know how long this will last. Maybe this is just, just an anomaly. Look at these. These are listed for 130 on card kingdom they have three of them so i mean you could probably get these for under you know check tcg player tech check e ebay listings but uh you could price just open that thing up and sell all 12 of them for 100 bucks and make a profit of course you got a little bit of fees and then pay taxes on the uh profit but still 
Um, it's it's just strange to see these selling for below market value. Uh, this is another one that caught my eye. And these are different sellers too, reputable sellers. So I don't understand why this is happening. Maybe this is just a sign that the uh, sealed MTG finance market is kind of uh, going into the laws for a little bit. Um, but again, they're not making any more. You can't print more of these reserve list cards. So I don't know how long it'll last. Uh, maybe it's because of MTG Arena, but I don't know. It seems like a, it's a different different class of people. Uh, it's, MTG Arena appeals to more modern players, whereas this old stuff appeals to people who view it as an investment, people who view it with uh, as uh, nostalgia products. Uh, this revised box going for five thousand nine hundred eighteen dollars. That's very low. It's hard to find these for under six thousand. Uh, Exodus twelve hundred. That's not strange. Something that's not uh, softening is the fourth edition. Strangely enough, um, I, I see fourth edition continuing to go up. Um, boxes of those, and I've made videos on this in the past that go for usually. Uh, used to be listed for five or six hundred dollars, are now selling for eight hundred dollars a box, uh, fourth edition. And then you look at the—I used to be able to get these for forty or fifty bucks. Now they're selling for seventy or eighty dollars. These uh, starter decks, fourth edition sealed starter decks. Um, so that's that—that's not softening. But some of these other vintage products are. And here's another one. This is very low in my opinion. Six only six thousand dollars for a revised booster box sealed. Um, so that's it. Just wanted to point that out, that it does look like there we may be going into a bear market in terms of MTG sealed finance um, products. It's strange to see. I mean, sometimes you get an anomaly. You see one, somebody snipes it or something, or people didn't know about it. They didn't have it on their watch list, and it kind of goes under the radar. But it's strange to see so many of these high-dollar items uh, going for well below market value. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below if this is a uh, bear market. I don't know how long it could last because it seems like, uh, you know, there's only a limited supply of these things, but maybe somebody's just, you know, there's a lot of people at, at right now that are unloading them. I don't know. And maybe it's kind of flooding the market, which is uh, pushing prices down for consumers which is a good thing, I guess. So a lot of product changing hands, but it is strange to see some of these prices on here. These are very low, very low, and uh, not used to seeing um, these sealed product, vintage sealed products uh, going down, but not all of them. Like this fourth edition stuff is seems to be holding its value and even increasing in value at the same time. So um, I'm not sure exactly what the explanation is for these. Maybe it's just a... Uh, short term short term bear market and then things will pick up uh, i'm trying to remember what else i was going to talk to you about in this video now that i've covered what i wanted to cover oh yeah one last thing uh graded mtg power gradedpower.com this is just an interesting thing if you do um if you're into collecting sealed product he sells these acrylic cases i mean if you don't want to pay these prices i'm sure you can find acrylic cases uh, elsewhere, but you can see he's holding one there. Uh, nice to have that box. It's like a two hundred thousand dollar box of Arabian Nights, a pink box. Originally, they were thinking about uh, the back of the Magic cards on the Arabian Nights set, making them pink, but they ended up doing them as a uh, standard, just because it was uh, going to be a standalone uh, expansion set. But little Magic history there for you. Um, but these look pretty neat. Uh, if you're into stuff like this or you have a few vintage boxes that you want to store, I'm not affiliated with this guy in any way or this store, but I have bought from him before, so I know it's uh, legit. He also has a store on eBay, but I don't get anything. I'm not trying to promote him or anything. Uh, this is an affiliate link or anything like that, but it is neat sometimes storing these, although he does have uh, revised starter decks. For, he has some pretty neat items that you don't see very, very often on his site. So you can browse if you want to. 
uh, this is a decent price, but I, these should be, you know, you might try to find these for around, you know, 500, 525 if you're looking for a revised starter deck. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to talk about. It's these acrylic cases. They look, jewel cases look really nice if you're going to store your product uh, long term. I've thought about picking some of mine up. I've always thought they looked, uh, they look really nice. Um, and they also protect your, uh, vintage sealed product so that is it um just notice those want to make a quick video on what i think could be a incoming a sign of a bear market for sealed mtg finance and uh, let me know what you think in the comments